Today we're going to bypass the enter passcode screen on an iPhone 4S running 6.0.1. This is the Sprint version of the phone. And this is kind of an old trick. We used to do this back with, uh, I believe it was a 3GS running 3.0 or 3.1 or something like that way back. And apparently this glitch is working again. So uh, the only thing this is going to do is help you get your contacts back. It will not give you full access to the phone. So hopefully you have uh, backed up all of your other important information. And what this does, it's going to, going to use the emergency call screen in order to allow this to happen. And what we're going to do here is if you take notice of the very top stripe of the phone here, you'll see it's kind of gray in color if you're looking at your phone. If you're looking through my camera, it might look a little bit bluish, at least it does on my monitor. But you'll notice that this stripe at the top is going to change color here. When we hold the power button down just long enough to bring up the option to slide to power off, but instead of powering off the phone, if you hit the cancel button, you'll see now that the color of this top stripe has changed a little bit. And from this point, what we're going to do, and this will take some practice, uh, I can almost guarantee you won't get it right the first time. You've got to get the timing down perfectly. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to first dial an emergency call, use the appropriate emergency number, which is not valid in your country. If you're in the U.S., I would recommend using 112. If you're outside the U.S., in most areas, you can dial 911, and the phone will automatically allow you to dial these numbers with or without a SIM card, whether or not the phone is locked. But I don't recommend calling a valid emergency number in your area. That can uh, probably lead to some problems if it does complete by accident. So um, what we're going to do is just hit send, and then end, and let the call end. So it's never going to actually connect on the other side. From here what we'll do is put the phone back into standby, we turn it back on, slide to unlock and we'll be presented with the passcode screen again. At this point what we're going to do is hold down the power button for about three seconds and then we're going to hit the emergency call button and again this will take a couple tries, hopefully I'll get it right this time. Um, so what we're going to do is going to go one, two, three, hit the emergency call button and you'll see that now we're in our contact list and we can pull up contact information. Um, however, you'll notice that I'm still holding the power button down because to release the power button, we're going to have to do a screenshot with the power button and the home button at the same time and then release the power button. So this takes a little practice also, but if you listen, you should be able to hear the shutter click. And now we can actually release the power and the home button and we have full access to our contact list. We'll be able to see a thumbnail, uh, thumbnail if they happen to have a picture associated with that contact. We can also go to our call log and take a look at our recent calls. You can see I dialed 112 a couple of times and we'll have access to our favorites and our keypad and if you dial an emergency number from this screen it will complete. You will not be able to see the call completing but it will go through so do not dial any emergency numbers from here. Um, you may be able to make some other calls. I'm going to find out right now if this goes through anywhere. I'm not sure that it does. Yes, it does. Okay, so we can hear someone, uh, something ringing on the other end. So you should be able to make phone calls from this screen. Uh, ironically, you cannot end the call. But again, you have access to your contacts, your recent calls, your favorites, your keypad. And it looks like we can, looks like we cannot add a contact. And the voicemail key also did not work. But the call is actually completed. So the only way I'm going to be able to disconnect it is by powering off the phone. If you hit the power, uh, the home button will not take you back to the screen until you unlock it, but you see there it actually showed the call in progress for a second. So uh, it looks like we are disconnected now as far as I can tell. And there you have it. We'll test this on some other versions and see what works and what doesn't and post up some new videos as soon as they are available.